how to have e put the economic value on greenery, I think it's very difficult. Um, I know some people out there are actually working hard to, to do that, uh, even internationally. People are trying to, to put the value on what they call, I think what Sean mentioned, the ecosystem services. Uh, Wendy is nodding her head. Um, even within MPAC, some people, like Wendy, uh, are very uh, passionate about you know, coming up with some economic justification for greenery. Um, and I think the work ought to carry on. I think it's very important work. If we can make strides in this direction, that would be really great. But I always caution people like Wendy. Uh, as a, when I was sitting in MOF, I often get uh, papers and proposals with similar concept, right? Put an economic value on pollution, on uh, clean air, clean water, and so on and so forth. Very well-meaning. And I think if it, if it helps us to understand the context of the issues or the problems, I think they are useful, but we cannot rely too much on, on them. Why? Because for a, for a person who is evaluating the proposal, if the number is very small, meaning the value is very small, we say, see, I told you so. It's not an important area, so I don't have to allocate much resources to it. If the number is very big, I will probably say, look, it's because of your assumptions. It's too big to be believed. It is not... Uh, uh, realistic. After all, you know these numbers, if you just change the, some numbers, you know, the assumption by a bit, you can come up with very different figures. So we ought to be quite, quite, uh, quite careful. Um, but again, just, just to make myself very clear, it's not that I don't think there's any value to it. I think if it helps us to understand the problem, the magnitude of the problem, I think it's, it's, it's helpful. But just that we cannot rely on it to make very mechanical decisions. Because like I said, if, uh, if Lee Kuan Yew had waited for economic justification, economic value to justify his decision, we wouldn't have gone for Garden City, right? It's his gut. Actually, this morning, my, uh, my chairman was telling me, hey, did you know that, uh, my chairman is Christina Ong, did you know that uh, Lee Kuan Yew uh, justified greenery by, by saying that it was supposed to retain rainfall and so on and so forth? I said, I know. In fact, if you read his books, he had many, many reasons to justify greenery. So my conclusion, I don't, I'm not speaking on his behalf, I don't know, I'm just speculating. I think he liked greenery. His gut, his heart told him that greenery is good. And then he found reasons to tell people, this is what he did it. This is why he did it, you know? So he said, oh, I, I did this to, you heard this before, I did this to attract investors. Right, I said, yeah, right. So I, I did this so that we can have, uh, he said he went to the UK, and he found that uh, in, in, in London, for example, only the rich areas had nice greenery. The poor areas did not have nice green, greenery at that time, maybe. And he said, no, no, Singapore cannot be like that. So for me, you know, Singapore all over must have greenery. So that's another justification. Uh, we want people to have a, a, a nicer, you know, ambient temperature. That's another, so many reasons. But I think in the end, it's a gut. So if your gut tells you that, look, this is something we need to have, then I think more or less you want to do it and if you can find reasons to, to justify it, so much better.